Well, the new here, and this time I'm going to show you something that I've actually been testing for basically the last three years. Um, I haven't shown you before, and so I thought I'd bring it out tonight. And this right here is not it. <laughs> this is actually the case I use for it. Um, this case right here, I need to get a, a more uh, like a tactical case where it's got Molly in the back, something like that. Um, this one right here. Yeah, this came from a very cheap and uh, not great uh, first aid kit. It basically contained a couple of band-aids and that was about it. Um, the case is just the case because it happened to be about the same shape. But you know, hopefully one of these days they come out with a, you know, a, a tactical case for this. And this basically is this. And probably wondering what the heck this is if you haven't seen one before. This right here is a Solio. This is a Solio Classic. This is the first one that they made. And this right here is a solar cell, as you see right there. And this is actually a hybrid solar charger. And what's unique about this one right here is it's not just one solar cell, but if you turn it, spin it like that, it's three different solar cells. And the reason this is a hybrid charger because not only is it you know, solar cells right there, but it also contains its own battery. So the solar cells recharge the internal battery. So you can take this and stick it out in the sun and let it charge up. And when it you know, fully charges up, then you can go ahead and just fold it right up and put it in the case or in your pocket or whatever. You know, it's big enough to go ahead and stick in a pocket. Now, this right here, then when your cell phone uh, needs a quick charge or your iPod needs to be charged or, or camera, uh, I've used it for cameras, for GPS. Uh, I've used it, you know, obviously I've used it for iPods and, and phones and stuff like that. So it, it's very versatile. I really like it. Um, all you have to do is you take one of the cables, comes with two cables, one of the cables now I'll get to that other one. <laughs> this, this cable right here is the cable used for charging your device. So it has two little ports on the side. And, oops, I hate it when I drop something. Right here on the side, and it's got this little protective cover over it. And it's got, uh, basically, they're just nothing but mini plugs uh, right here. And you just take this, and then they, there's two ports. One is for charging, and one is for charging a device. And it only fits... Now this cable that goes to your device you want to charge only fits in one of the ports, so you don't have to worry about getting to the wrong one. Now at this time I can take this and I can use one of the included adapters, which comes with several. You can see I only have two of them right here. The other ones are in the case. And <laughs> but basically you take out the adapter that's designed for your phone or whatever you want to charge. You take that and you just plug it into the end here and oops it's only one way it'll fit and plug that in now it's ready to be plugged into you know, your phone you can plug it into your cell phone and then you come to the back there's a button right here you press that button and right at that point your cell phone should be charging and on my phones I've always been able to get uh, like two to three charges just on, on using this once without recharging it. Um, so it's, it's very good. It works very well. Um, the, the nice thing about it, like I said, you, know, you got the other cable, you take the other cable, you plug it into the other port, and on the other side of that, it has a USB plug. So you plug that into your computer, and then you can charge this off your computer. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you, like me, you'll take this, stick it outside and let it charge up and it'd be probably a cloudy day. And this takes a, a good direct sunlight in order to go ahead and charge off of. Uh, indirect lighting and stuff like that, it won't charge off of. And once you do that, it may get to, you know, got like five bars. And if you want to go ahead and fully charge it, you, know, you have to leave it outside for you know, four to eight hours, depending on what kind of conditions you have. Uh, but now, if you want to go ahead and you know, 
go on a trip before it's fully charged, well, you, you take it and you bring it inside and you just top it off with your computer. And that way you can always make sure it's fully topped off, and which is a great idea because I, I use the computer a lot in Wisconsin here. Well, it's not a whole lot of really nice, bright, sunny days. And, and when you do get them, you know, you're so shocked that the last thing you remember is to charge up something. So I use it both ways. I like to sit it in the dash of my truck and I just let it sit there and, and charge as I'm driving. And so I might, uh, I, I typically use it for a GPS and I'll plug it into the GPS and then I'll just go ahead and set this on the, on the dash and it goes ahead and charges up the GPS and at the same time it's trickle charging into the charger here. So it's a really nice device. If you, you can tell how far you've been charged by pressing the button here and you press the button and you wait for it to blink and it'll blink and when it blinks it'll tell you you know if it's uh two blinks and it's you know, it, it's two out of five so kind of a, a bar rating but this one right here's got you know, two bars left so it needs a recharge basically i need to go ahead and put it in my dash and charge it up or connect to the computer uh, like i said i've been using this model right here this exact unit uh for three years and the battery has outlasted my ipod um by double so uh, maybe they should go ahead and make ipods with solar panels on the back i don't know but this right here has been very very handy i really like it i i like i said i've used it for years and it's been very handy and i hate the fact that you get someplace and then all of a sudden something's dying either the camera needs a, a charge and you know, I might have forgot the extra battery or, or whatever. You know, I can always go ahead and dig this out. As long as I have the little adapter plug to go ahead and plug into it, I'm fine. If I remember correctly, you can also get additional adapters. If you don't have one, you can get one for your whatever device, uh, which is very nice and handy, like I said. Um, what would I like you know, them to change on this? Uh, like I said, I'd like to have them produce a tactical case for this. Uh, this is it's a little dirty <laughs> i probably should wipe it down a little bit um, but otherwise there's no scratches scrapes or scuffs or anything like that that's mainly because i i, I typically will keep it in a pouch or you know, on the dash and so it's not rolling around everywhere um, very well done i really like it would i buy another one um, you bet i really would uh, it's been Tremendous. They make a couple of different types. They make another one that's just got the single panel. And of course they got this one right here with you know that opens up like the pedal. And they have a couple other things that come with this. Uh, number one is the it's got a little suction cup and it sticks through the hole here. And you stick that, you know, you stick the suction cup in there, and then you uh, suction it to a window, whether it be a car window or you know your house window, anything so we get direct sunlight. Um, nice, yeah, nice little system. I had problems with mine. Uh, my my windows must be really dirty or something like that because mine would pop off. And I do blame my dirty windows because I just not wanted to go ahead and clean the windows. Um, basically, all you have to do is, like I said, you can take it and you know open it up, and then you know you can lie it flat on the table or the hole allows you to take a pen or a pencil, insert it into that hole there, and then you can angle it. Basically, just you know, maybe try to get another one here, see if it fits a little bit better. <laughs> that fat one just doesn't work very well. As you can see, it fits right in the hole, and then you can take this and you can angle it. It's hard to do it with one hand, I tell you. Uh, you can basically angle it towards the sun like this, and you know, it. it works really great with a pencil anything that can you know, be fully inserted that way you can basically set it you know like a screwdriver or something like that you can angle it correctly uh, you can change the angle so you get the idea very well done really like it would i get more yes um it's been a fantastic little unit just lasted a lot longer than i ever expected it would uh, they do make one other one and it's tall and it's got like a carabiner clip on it so you can basically clip, clip it on a belt loop or on your pack or anything like that um, you can go ahead and take this and you know unfold it and then stick it on the back of your pack you know like like this and stick it on the back of your pack and as you're 
hiking along, it'll go ahead and charge up. So there's, you know, it's got a lot of potential. So this right here, once again, it's the Solio, and this is the Solio Classic Hybrid Charger. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to rate my videos. I'm Weaponeer, and I'll catch you in the next one. Come on.